Hi my lovelies! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an advanced GFX which includes how to make flowy hair, how to add a water or some ocean to your GFX, and how to add fur to your GFX. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start out with is the hair. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the hair, it should just look like something like this. And basically it looks, it gives like a kind of effect that wind is blowing your character's hair. So before you watch this, if you, before you watch this video, you probably want a basic knowledge of how to make a GFX. So I will be linking that tutorial that I have made in the, in the description. Um, so let's get on with it. First you want to just load in your character, open up Blender. Um, and just load in your character. You just want to delete the head part of your GFX and I'm just going to speed this up really quickly. Okay, so now once that's um, done, you want to load in your character's texture. Um, again, if you don't know how to do this, I have all of this information in my GFX tutorial. Right now I'm using Blender 2.79, but I do have a tutorial for Blender 2.79 and Blender 2.8. So once you load in your texture, then you just want to load in the head and the accessories of your character. There we go. Um, now I'm just going to turn the head around so it's facing the correct way. There we go. Um, okay. So now what you're going to want to do is select the hair. And then down here where it says object mode, you're going to click it and change it to edit mode. So now once you do this, you should see a bunch of like vertices and lines and whatever. Um, you're going to want to select a point near down here. It doesn't really matter as long as it's below the point that you want to have it like blow. Uh, hit B and you should get this like um, these lines and then just hold, click and drag. So you should see a little box here and select as much as you want um, to uh, to um, rotate so that you can make it look windy. Um, you ob Obviously, you probably don't want to go all the way to the top because then you're just rotating the hair and it won't look as natural. Um, so basically you're gonna, once you select that, make sure you're in rotate and just rotate it so that you can play around with this feature as much as you want. I, I don't recommend rotating it too much. Just gonna rotate it and then to make it look a little more natural, you can move it over like that. And if you go back in object mode, it should look like this or however you decided to um, move it. And it also, so when you select the front part, it will go through and select this back part. Um, that just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, if you don't, so sometimes if you don't like what hap is here, like sometimes the um, turn might look too sharp, just go back into edit mode. And I recommend using this one here, which selects it, the lines. So you just want to select these here, and then you can move them over just to kind of um, smooth out the curves a little bit, just like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you make the windy hair. You can actually use this. It doesn't just have to be for hair. You can use this for anything. So now we're going to move on to, let's do water. The first thing I'm going to do though is pose my avatar just to get ready um, for all this, for the water. Um, so yeah. Okay, here we go. So, now the next thing you want to do is click Shift A, hold down Shift and click A, and um, in Mesh, choose Plane. So it just should just come up wherever your 3D cursor is, you can just um, move it to the center by changing X, Y, and Z to zero. Yeah. And then go here, which is the modifiers, choose Add Modifier, and then in, um, in Simulate, choose ocean it should make it a little bit big like this if you don't like it that big you can scale it down using s i'm just going to leave it as it is and here you can play around with all of the settings um 
I normally just leave it how it is. I'm just gonna uh, raise it up a little bit so you can tell that she's in water. Um, and then you're gonna want to choose a texture. So go over here to material and hit click, and click new. Uh, and then go to diffuse and just choose glossy. In glossy, you're gonna want to change. Leave the I just leave the color the same. Uh, you want to change the roughness to 0 0.001. So we're done with that um, for now. I'm um, just uh, yeah. And then we're gonna add. Um, now we're gonna work on fur. I'm making one of the. I got. I downloaded a bucket hat, and I'm just gonna be making that furry. But you can basically you can basically do anything if you want to do a chair, if you want to do pillows. Uh, so yeah, um, we're just. I'm just gonna import my hat really quickly. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now I'm just gonna. Uh, now you can basically just work with it. At first, you can work with it as a basic, um, just uh, object. So just place it however you want. Uh, and then I will show you how to make it. Oops. I will show you how to make it furry. So now basically you're going to want to make sure that you, the hat is selected and go to this little particle area thing and choose plus new. There where it says emit or change it to hair. So it's going to look like this in the beginning but we're going to uh, play with it a little bit and hit advanced down here. And normally the number I put is about 2500, obviously you can play with this however you'd like. Hair length, um, I normally put that at 2.50. And then there, oh sorry, um, if that, if to you that seems a little bit long, like sometimes if you're doing like what I'm doing, like the hat, you can obviously make it shorter. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I will change it, probably, I will probably change it later. Um, and then you're going to want to open up children down here and choose interpolated or simple. It depends what you're going for. I'm going to be using, um, interpolated right now and then, yeah. You can play with all of these settings if you would like. So basically, the main part is changing the kink. You can make it look like this if you want. You can curl it, which is one of the more popular options. You can use radial, wave, braid, or spiral. Right now, I think I'm going to be using curl or wave. I'll probably just use um, curl though, like that. and. I'm going to, I'm just going to uh, play with some of the settings, like the length and um, the number of hairs that I want. Uh, basically, you can just change everything, you can just change everything that you want um, to make it to your liking. Um, there's a lot of things you can change in here, but basically, that's basically the, um, that's basically all you need to know. Uh, and then you can figure the rest out just by experimenting. The next thing we're going to do is change the color of this. So you're going to want to go to material and just hit the X there. Click plus new. And then you can change the color here. I'm just going to make uh, the hat pink. Yeah. And then I'm just going to add a quick camera just by clicking shift A. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to set this up like I would with a normal GFX um, with my normal camera settings. Okay, that should be it. So if you want to see what it would look like, um, just hit, go down here and choose rendered. And then you just got to wait for that to load. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to turn off ambient inclusion just so that you can see the hat a little bit clearer. If you don't like what it looks like, you can always just go back to the particle settings and change it if you would like. Um, I think I'm going to make it a little more curly. And then when you're happy with how, and then when you're happy with how it looks, just go back to this camera icon and hit render. And here is the final product. So basically that is how you make water 
fur and how to add fl uh, flowy hair to your GFX. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!